When a nuclear submarine lurks quietly under the turquoise waves of Bwahai Bay, but the range of the missiles it carries can cover half the globe, does it mean that the balance of the global strategic equilibrium is being irreversibly tilted? China's newly revealed JL-4 submarine launched ballistic missile and its supporting Type 094C strategic nuclear submarine are redefining the rules of deep sea deterrence with groundbreaking technical parameters. This strategic weapon system, known as the Deep Sea Sword, not only represents the pinnacle of China's military science and technology, but also casts a shocking weight on the international strategic chessboard, which triggers a chain reaction that is reshaping the pattern of the 21st century's great power game. In terms of technical parameters, the range breakthrough of the JL-4 missile is a revolutionary leap forward. By adopting the new NEEP high-energy solid propellant and optimizing the aerodynamic layout of the projectile, the maximum range of this three-stage solid-fueled missile has jumped from 12,000 km in the JL-3 to 15,000 to 22,000 km realizing a truly global coverage capability. This means that strategic nuclear submarines deployed at the Qingdao or Sanya submarine bases will not need to risk crossing the Miyako Strait or the Bashi Channel and will be able to bring the entire North American continent within striking range from the relatively safe waters of the Yellow Sea. Compared to the U.S. Trident IID-5 missile and Russia's Bulava missile, the JL-4, has a significant advantage in terms of range. More noteworthy is its payload capacity. The missile can carry six 12 guided nuclear warheads, each warhead equivalent to 1 million to 3 million tons of TNT. A single boat of 12 missiles fired in unison can form 144 independent strike points. This destructive effectiveness makes the traditional U.S. geo barrier meaningless even in the first island chain deployment of the most advanced anti-missile systems. It is difficult to intercept from the Arctic trajectory, straight to the sub-missile warheads. At the level of surprise defense technology, JL-4 integrates a number of cutting-edge technologies to build a three-dimensional defense breakthrough system. In the mid-flight phase, the JL-4 adopts the maneuvering trajectory change technology to change the trajectory plane through the vector nozzle adjustment which makes it difficult for the enemy's early warning radar to predict the trajectory. In the final stage of defense, dozens of intelligent decoys are released, and these decoy bombs made of memory alloy are unfolded at a specific height, and their radar reflection characteristics are exactly the same as those of the real warheads. The most striking is equipped with a hypersonic gliding vehicle. The use of wave riding body design of the warhead at the edge of the atmosphere to more than Mach 10 speed jump gliding maneuver the parabolic trajectory of traditional ballistic missiles into an unpredictable water drift trajectory. According to the U.S., Missile Defense Agency simulation shows that the existing standard minus three interceptor interceptor success rate of less than 15% of such targets. Guidance system, JL-4 in the traditional starlight inertial guidance on the basis of innovative integration of Baidu-3 satellite navigation and geomagnetic matching correction technology in the whole satellite signal is cut off in the extreme case can still maintain the 100-meter level hit accuracy. This, double insurance, designed so that it has the ability to hit the fortification of the underground command posts and other strategic targets. Supporting this strategic deterrent is the leapfrog development of the 094C strategic nuclear submarine. The submarine adopts a new type of silencing tile, an active noise reduction system, together with the third-generation integrated natural circulation reactor and pump jet propellers which reduces underwater noise to about 110 decibels, close to the level of background noise in the ocean. Its maximum submergence depth breaks through to 600, far exceeding the Ohio-class 400-meter working depth, which significantly improves the battlefield survivability. The ship's vertical launch system adopts a cold launch and hot launch compatible design and is equipped with a fast loading mechanism, which can complete the launching preparation of all 12 missiles within 15 minutes. What's more critical, is the upgrading of the informationization of its combat system, which realizes the closed loop of the OODA, killing chain from target detection to missile launch through the data chain fusion with the Mission Hills series of ocean surveillance satellites and the remote sensing series of early warning satellites and compresses the response time of the nuclear counterattack to the level of minutes. This destroy on discovery capability has enabled China's sea-based nuclear forces to have a reliable second strike capability. The JL-4 system has brought about a strategic change that goes far beyond technology. It has completely changed the traditional pattern that Chinese nuclear submarines must leave the Western Pacific to deter the North American continent, creating a new paradigm of 
offshore deterrence of the world. This deployment will be strategic nuclear submarine patrol area contracted to the tight anti-submarine network of offshore waters, relying on shore-based aviation and underwater, listening arrays of three-dimensional protection, greatly reducing the risk of being hunted by the enemy attacked nuclear submarines. From the GIA strategic point of view, its range covers not only the 48 states of the United States mainland, but also Diego Garcia, Guam and other key forward base of the U.S. military into the strike radius, forming a double jeopardy strategic deterrent effect. The latest report of the International Institute for Strategic Studies of the United Kingdom pointed out that the credibility of China's sea-based nuclear deterrence has thus increased by 300 percent, and its nuclear counterattack capability has been upgraded from minimum deterrence to dynamic balance deterrence. This change in the balance of power is triggering a chain reaction. The U.S. Navy has urgently adjusted the deployment of the Pacific Fleet, transferring three Seawolf-class nuclear attack submarines to the Ryukyu Islands waters and accelerating the construction of the Columbia-class strategic nuclear submarines. Japan plans to spend an additional $1.2 billion on upgrading its anti-missile system in the 2024 defense budget. In a more far-reaching effect on nuclear strategy, the JL-4, has given China the ability to destroy the U.S. mainland for the first time on a reciprocal basis, forcing the Pentagon to reevaluate the effectiveness of its extended deterrence strategy. As Andrew Horn, a senior fellow at the RAND Corporation, puts it, any decision to intervene in a Taiwan Strait conflict will face an unprecedented calculus of risk when Beijing is able to ensure a devastating counterattack even after a first-round nuclear strike. It is worth noting that China's nuclear force development has always been guided by the principle of moderation and sufficiency. Even if the JL-4 significantly enhanced the sea-based nuclear deterrent capability, China's nuclear arsenal size is still maintained in the United States and Russia one-tenth or so. This quality and quantity control development path not only ensures national security, but also to avoid falling into a Cold War-style arms race. With the research and development of the Type 096 nuclear submarine and its successor, together with the hypersonic boost glide warheads being tested, China's sea-based nuclear forces are evolving towards full area presence and instant response. The continuous evolution of this strategic capability not only provides a solid guarantee for safeguarding national sovereignty, but also injects new certainty into the construction of a stable strategic balance among major powers. In the treacherous global security landscape, the introduction of JL-4 is like a needle in the deep sea, demonstrating China's determination to safeguard peace and warning that any adventurous behavior that tries to break the strategic balance will face unbearable consequences.